Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time. How are you all doing? My name is Ryan and welcome back to a new video where today I'm gonna to be bringing you my race day vlog. So for those of you that don't know, at the start of this year, I signed up to the Robin Hood Half Marathon and throughout the whole of this year, I've been training and building up all down to this day. So it's currently Friday night when I'm filming this introduction. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to go into Nottingham and get my race pack. And on Sunday in the morning, I'm going down there and I'm gonna run the half marathon. So you're probably wondering why I'm filming this introduction in the evening. Basically, every time I film an introduction in the morning, Morning. I have no energy and it just doesn't come across right. So I'm filming now when I'm a little bit more energetic. In terms of how I'm feeling for this half marathon, I know that I'm ready, but in my mind, I'm still having those doubts. I'm definitely nervous. I've got them pre-race nerves, but I know I can do this. And I do just keep telling myself that. So at the time of recording this introduction, we have raised 155 pounds for mine, which is absolutely amazing. I want to thank every single one of you for donating to that. The page is still open, it's a Just Given page. If you go down into the description, there is a link and you can still donate if you do want to. That option is there. So make sure you do donate if you haven't already. It is an amazing charity, a great cause. And I'm very happy and proud to be raising money for them. So if you are looking forward to this race day vlog, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're only eight subs away from 300. If we could get there, that would be amazing. And I would appreciate every single one of you. So I think I've bored you enough with that introduction. Let's get into the race day vlog. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is 7 a.m. in the morning. I've just got up. And today we're gonna to go get my race pack. Just before I do that, I'm gonna go downstairs now and have a coffee and get a breakfast. And when I get down there, I will show you what I've got for breakfast. Okay, so I've just made breakfast. So I'm gonna turn the camera around now and show you what that is. Just before I do, this is the same breakfast that I'm gonna to have tomorrow. So today is somewhat of a trial run to see how I react to the breakfast. It's nothing extravagant, but like I say, I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what it is. Okay, so here is the breakfast. It looks like on the camera that I've just got two pieces of toast, but I do actually have some peanut butter and jam in there as well. So we've got the toast, some good carbs, the jam for some good sugars, and then we've got some peanut butter in there as well for some healthy fats. So I'm gonna eat this now, then I'm gonna get ready, and then it's time to head to Nottingham. Yes lads, quick fit check. Looking pretty saucy. I'm ready, I'm ready to go. The hair's looking on point lads. I'm looking good, I'm ready to go. I'm feeling this. I'm gonna get over to Nottingham now. I'm gonna film some stuff on the way. I'm gonna see what it looks like when we get there. All right, so I think we can see the tent now. We're not too sure. We're just coming on a walk down the embankment. This is what it's looking like over here. It's a really nice place. Definitely looking forward to running here. We're just gonna go in there now and get my race pack. And I'll do a little video when we're actually there so you can see what it's all looking like. All right, so just got the race pack. Let's have a look what's inside. Oh, got my number, 4013. Oh yeah, I am indeed 4013. Oh my God. I think that's everything. Yeah, that's everything. So, I'm number 4013. Let's do it. Okay, so I don't know how well you're going to be able to hear me because there's a lot of traffic going on. But I'm just on my way to town right now. I'm going to get a few bits for my run. I'm going to go get a top. Basically what's happened, I'm not allowed to get my running top until after the race. And so I thought I need something to try and run in. So I'm going to see if there's any reasonably priced tops in a... I'm sure there's a running shop in town, but I don't know what it's called yet. But I'm going to go there and see what I can find. And I also need a cap because if it is hot, I'm going to be struggling without a hat on. So I'm going to go find that. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go there and then when I get back, I will show you what I bought. I'm back from town and I had a pretty good trip. As you would have just seen, I got into town and today it was quite busy. There was some stuff going on. I'm not sure what it was. There were some dancers there tapping some sticks around. I'm not sure what the name of that dance is called, but that was pretty interesting. I thought I'd film it for the video. 
So now I'm gonna show you what I got from the shops, but first, I wanted to tell you a little bit of a story. So I went into town, and I know that there was a running store in town once upon a time, but I went to that area, and it turns out it's been replaced by another store now. So I went onto my Google Maps, and I was trying to find what I typed in was running store near me, and what came up was the Triathlon Center, which I've never heard of before, but I thought I'd give it a go. It's only like 1.7 miles out or something. It took me about 15 minutes to walk there, but when I got there, I went down the road, and there was just houses either side of me. It looked like a bit of a cul-de-sac. It was very confusing. I was looking on my, my phone like, you know, wh where is this place? Looking around, can't find it. And where the store was, it was like down this road, right? Or where, where it's supposed to be. It was down this like little alleyway. And when I went down there, it's about halfway down the street, this alleyway. I went down there and there was five houses there. Just normal houses. I started walking past these houses. I got to about the fourth one down. And I looked on my maps and it said it was there. It said I was like right basically on top of it. But at the end of this little pathway, there was another, it was sort of like led round the back of this last house. So I got down to the end of the pathway. I kind of, I peered, I peered in. I was like, you know, what's going on here? And where I, when I peered in, there was just like a tent, but it looked like it was the person's back garden that owned the end house. And there was a couple of these like signed flags that you normally see uh, around stores, but I just thought to myself, I'm not gonna potentially walk into someone's back garden. So I just, I got out of there and I went back to town and I ended up going to JD first and then I went into Sports Direct. But like I say, I will show you what I've got right now. So here is the bag, classic JD, to give you a nice colorful bag that only 14 year olds wear across their shoulder. I just carried it around in my hand like this. But I will show you what I've got. So this is the first thing, boom. Here's the first item, got myself a cap. The last few days, it's been really sunny and I don't want it to be sunny on the race day and me be like sweating and I can't see. So this hat's gonna help with that. There was a night cap, but it was like eight pound more expensive. And so I thought for the sake of a logo on the front of the cap, it was the same color and everything. I might as well go with an Adidas cap. I know most of my outfit is Nike, but there you go. This is what I got. This is the first item. The next thing, got myself a little running bottle from Sports Direct. Uh, it's one of them ones that fits nicely in your hands. I don't like to carry stuff around with me if I can help it, but if I can carry around something that's just easy to carry like this, nice and lightweight, that's perfect. It's nice and cheap from Sports Direct. I'm gonna fill that out tomorrow with some water. Okay, the next thing I got was one of these armbands. I've never used one of these before, but I wanted to try it out and see how it feels. It, I think it goes on there or something like that, and then you can obviously do your phone on your arm. It means I don't have to carry my phone around with me. And like I say, if I can get away with not carrying stuff around, I will. So that's gonna go on my arm. I'm gonna test that out either tonight or tomorrow morning. Uh, I'm gonna see how it fits. And obviously if it doesn't fit, I won't wear it, but hopefully this can help me during the run. All right, and here's the last thing I got. I saved the best till last. I got myself a new Nike running top. I think it is the only running top I own. I normally just run in like sports tops, but I wanted to get myself a proper running top because as I said earlier, I don't actually get my race shirt until after the race, which in my opinion is a little bit pointless. So I thought I'd go ahead and buy myself a new t-shirt. To be honest, this isn't the last time that I'm gonna run. I do have an announcement that I may make sometime soon. I'm not sure yet. It depends what happens and if it all goes through or not. But you know what? I haven't tried this on yet. I'm gonna try it on camera. And I thought I'd do a little bit of a magic trick. Right, let's see how this works. It's gonna look absolutely dreadful before I do the edit, but I reckon I could salvage something from this. Here we go, All right? Three, two, one. Oh. What do we think? How was that? Mate, you can't lie. That was pretty sick. This fits really nice. I'm very happy with this top. I can tell it's a running top. It's really lightweight. And it's a bit of a different material to my normal tops. I'm looking forward to running in this now. I'm happy with everything that I bought. It did cost me a little bit, but to be honest, I got paid today. And I thought, why not treat myself? So that's everything I bought. I'm gonna go downstairs now and get my pre-race dinner. And I'll show you what that is. Okay, so I've just painted up the meal. And let me just warn you, they're saying for the faint high. This is massive. It's absolutely filled the plate. I didn't even think it would be this big, but I'll flip the camera around and show you what it is. And there we have it. This is what it's gonna give me the energy for the run tomorrow. I've got 250 grams of pasta, one jar of sauce and 50 grams of cheese. It's absolutely delicious. I'm gonna get tucked into that now. And that'll be it in terms of food until tomorrow morning when I have my pre-race meal. And there it is. My race day kit all laid out. This doesn't even feel real. So I'm quite literally as ready as I can be. It's Saturday night now, about half seven. I've got all my kit laid out there, which you would have just seen. And honestly, it just, if it doesn't feel real, like I just said, 
I just can't believe that I'm going to do it tomorrow. I mean, I signed up to this half marathon at the start of the year, which is about nine months ago now. And honestly, the time has gone so fast, it just really feels like it's crept up on me. But I know that I'm ready for it, and I just can't wait to go there tomorrow morning and do it. So next time I speak to you will be in the morning. I'm feeling full of energy right now, but yeah, let's just see how I feel when I wake up. As you can see, I'm ready to go. It's finally time. I'm all dressed and ready, ready for the race. In terms of how I'm feeling, I'm pretty nervous. I can't lie. I've got those pre-race nerves. It just seems crazy that today is the day. When you're out there doing your training, you never really think about the half marathon. It's always just in the back of your mind that, yeah, it's coming up, but you know, it's not yet, but now it is. So this morning I got myself a coffee and I had my peanut butter and jam toasted sandwich. So that's all done. Got myself showered, done my hair, which I don't know why I've done my hair because I'm going to put a cap over it anyway. So you remember from yesterday, I did buy myself a cap. It's going to be putting that on. Uh, I'm hoping for it not to be too sunny. Uh, we'll have to see when we get there. Uh, fingers crossed but I mean if it is sunny do you know what I mean like it doesn't matter like what the conditions are I'm still going to do the half marathon but ideally we want it to be cloudy a little bit of a breeze and although I'm nervous I am excited to get down there and see what they've done with the place and how it's been set up so I think the next thing you'll see is me on the way to Nottingham and then we'll see what everything's looking like when we get there okay I'm in the car now we're making pretty good time it's about 7 a.m just about to leave it's going to take about just over an hour to get there uh, not sure what the parking's like, but we're hoping that by the time we get there, it won't be already full. We'll have to see how it goes, but I'm ready for the race. Let's do it. Heading over to the start zone now. I'm starting in the orange zone. It's, um, I think the zone right at the back. So we're gonna go see where it is now, and uh, I'll show you where it is when we find out. Are you, are you excited? All right, I'm at the uh, zone now, ready to start. I'm ready for it. It's all seeming very real now. We just turn the camera around so you can see. Starting at the orange zone. Uh, starting at like the last zone. I probably should have started the zone before, but we'll see how it happens. Um, I'm ready for it. The next clip you'll see will be me starting. Let's do it, come on. It's now 25 to 10, we still haven't started. No idea what's going on. Let's see what happens. Not even the start has started yet, so who knows what's going on. All right, we're starting. Here we go. Probably gonna be about 20 minutes before we cross the start line, but it's officially started. We have officially started. Let's do it. That's the first mile done. Still feeling good. I haven't really touched this yet. I'm gonna save it for a bit later. It's going all right so far. We just got to a hill. I don't know if you can tell on the video, but it's really steep, like really steep. We're still doing okay though. Right, we just went up a massive hill and now we're coming down again so getting a bit of a break just had a bit of water i'll show you how it's looking like now it's not as bad as it was before nice little downhill run now thank god there's mile two it tells you after every mile where you're crossing which is quite interesting it means i don't have to use my phone but just like that that's two miles done Mile three complete. Basically done a 5k now, about a quarter of the way there. Coming up to mile four now. Starting to feel it a little bit, but still okay. Just past mile five, still feeling all right. Let's keep going.
and there is mile six. We're almost halfway now, so that's 6.5 miles halfway. Doing all right so far. Definitely feeling it though. Let's keep on going. We've officially hit the halfway point. I'm at about an hour, 10 minutes right now. Doing really well. Definitely got the pace nailed down now. The encouragement around here is amazing. Still going. Here we go. We're just approaching mile seven now. They just seem to keep coming quicker. Let's keep it going. That's seven complete. That's mile eight. Mile eight complete. It's time to dig deep. There's mile nine. It's getting hard now. Come on. As you can see behind me, we're just past 10 miles. Only 5k to go now. It's getting tough. But I'll speak to you again at the finish line. Okay, just see the finish line. Oh my god. This is horrendous. There's the finish. We did it. That's it. I've got my medal with a time of two hours and 20 minutes. I'm so happy. I can't believe I've done it. So proud of the time as well. I wasn't going for a specific time, but in my head I did think if I could get below two hours 20, I'd be really happy with that. I think the exact time was something like two hours and 19 minutes and 30 seconds, which is perfect. I need to go sit down now. I've never felt like this after a run before. I feel absolutely battered, but so proud that I did it. So we've just come to Son of Steak. I don't know how well you hear me, but I'm just going to show you what I got for my post-run meal. All right, everyone. So as you would have just seen, just had my meal at a place called Son of Steak. It was really nice. We all enjoyed our meals. I definitely recommend going there if you've got a Son of Steak around your area. I had a chicken leg, which didn't have any bones in, which was strange, but it tasted really nice. I had that with chips and sticky rice. That went down a treat, got absolutely deleted. So we're just walking back to the embankment now, just took the tram down and we're gonna get home. So I will speak to you again when we get back. We'll have a little talk about the half marathon. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back. And honestly, today was just absolutely amazing. So I finished the marathon in two hours, 19 minutes and 31 seconds. And I ran the whole way, I never stopped once. And I honestly couldn't be proud of myself for achieving this. As you may be able to see, I am wearing my finisher top now. I'm not saying I'm proud or anything, but I've literally got it on, just sat here at home. It says, it wasn't easy, but it was worth it. And then we've got a little finisher on the side there. It's a shame that we was given these t-shirts after the event because I would have liked to run in my t-shirt, but unfortunately I couldn't do that. If you do look at my Instagram, I do have a picture up there of me finished with my medal. It's a really nice photo, really nice post in my opinion. If you do want to follow me on Instagram, you should be able to find me down in the description below. And as I round off this video, I want to take the time to thank absolutely everyone that turned up today. All of the people that helped organize the event, all of the people that were dotted around the course that were cheering us all on. You lot are all amazing. And especially those people around the course that were cheering everyone on. Those little lines of, you've got this, you can do this, come on guys. All of the round of applause, it all helps so much, more than you would even imagine. Especially when times got tough, having that support dotted all around the course just made things so much easier, so much better. And like I say, I couldn't be more grateful for everyone that showed up today. If you've never done a half marathon before, I would 100% recommend trying one out. It was just such an amazing day out. And I feel just this overwhelming sense of achievement now that I've done it. It's unlike anything I've ever done before. It's definitely harder than anything I've ever done before. And it's probably one of the biggest achievements of my life. But now you've seen this video, you're probably wondering what's next for me in terms of running. And I wanted to tell you that right now. So next year, there is going to be, of course, another Robin Hood half marathon. They do happen every single year. And I am actually planning on taking on that challenge. But this time I might not be alone. And that's all I'll say on that. I may have someone else coming with me next year. I don't want to do any name drops or anything like that because that's unfair. This is my video. So just to let you know, I will be taking part in next year's event. That is the plan for now anyway. Of course, things may change, but the plan at the minute is that. Just so you can all see, that is the medal that I've got. It's a really nice medal. I see it just makes me so much prouder to have this as a mark of my achievement. I just thought I'd show you what the medal looks like. There's a close up of the medal if you wanted to see. And that is where I'm going to leave today's video. I really hope you enjoyed my race day vlog. Hopefully it may have helped you out. If you are someone that's going to be doing a race soon and you was wondering what these events look like, I'm hoping that 
through this video, you'll be able to find that information out. And that's realistically what this video was for. So if you did enjoy, please leave a like and do subscribe to the channel as well. It'd really mean a lot. We're only seven subscribers away now from 300. And I've been looking to hit that goal now for so, so long. So if we could hit that, that'd be absolutely amazing. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.